Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to this week's Sunday School lesson. Uh, let's start out in prayer, and then uh, we'll get right into the lesson. Father, thank you so much for um, the love that you have for us, and the way that you showed us that love is uh, Jesus dying on the cross for our sins. We're thankful, God, uh, for Jesus. And I pray for these boys and girls that they would learn to love Jesus and that they would desire to follow Jesus all the days of their lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, first question. What book is this? It's the Bible, isn't it? And the Bible is the most important book in the world. It is the authority. It should be our authority in our lives as Christians. Why is it the most important book in the world? Because it's God's Word. And the Bible tells us that God never lies. And so we can trust what God says. We can trust the Bible to be our instruction manual, our instruction book. Well, last week we talked about um, the Israelites marching around the city of Jericho and how the walls fell, fell down flat. But you know, before um, the walls actually fell down, during the, the time when they were going around that city and the walls of that city, God had instructed them in chapter 6 of Joshua, so get your Bibles out, uh, Joshua chapter 6 and in verse 17, he says that the city is to be under the ban. Now, what in the world does that mean? It means that everything in the city is to be burned except for... Um, the silver and gold and the articles of bronze and iron. Those things were to be kept out for the Lord and to be put into the treasury for the Lord. And it says that in verses 17, 18, and 19. And then he reminds them again uh, that everything is in verse 24, that uh, the, the children of Israel, after they captured the city, after the walls fell down, that they burned the city. And they took all the silver and all the bronze and, and kept those aside because they were holy to the Lord. Well, something went wrong. In Joshua chapter 7, it tells us the very first verse, But the sons of Israel acted unfaithfully in regard to the things under the ban. For Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, from the tribe of Judah took some of the things under the ban. Therefore, the anger of the Lord burned against the sons of Israel. So some, someone in, in Israel sinned and they kept it quiet. So Joshua didn't know anything about this. And so they after, after they conquered Jericho, well, Joshua was fired up and ready to go to the next city of Ai. And it's, it's just A-I, but it's pronounced Ai. So as they went to take Ai, the chapter 7 tells us they were defeated. And several uh, Israelites died. And when, when this happened, Joshua was so upset, he tore his clothes, it says uh, in verse 6. But then he started praying, God, you know, why did you bring us this far and then allow this to happen? Allow us to be defeated against I. Well, God knew. God knew what Achan had done. Joshua didn't know, but God did. And so God says uh, in, in verse 10, Rise up, Joshua. I know what's happened. Now it's time for you to act. And so uh so God tells Joshua what's happened. And so, and so God points out, he singles out the man. He, he uh, uh, narrows it down by the, the tribe. He narrows it down by the family. And then he narrows it down by the man himself, Achan. And then in verse 19, it says, Joshua said to Achan, my son, I implore you. Ooh, the wind is very rough. Uh, give glory to the Lord, the God of Israel, and give praise to him. And tell me now what you have done. Do not hide it from me. So Achan answered Joshua and said, Truly I have sinned against the Lord, the God of Israel, and this is what I did. 
When I saw among the spoil a beautiful mantle from Shinar and 200 shekels of silver and a bar of gold, 50 shekels in weight, then I coveted them and I took them. And behold, they are concealed in the earth inside my tent with the silver underneath. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran to Achan's tent and behold, it was concealed in his tent with the silver underneath it. And they took from inside the tent and they brought them the articles that Achan had stolen. They brought them to Joshua, to the sons of, of Israel. And Joshua in verse 24 and all Israel with him, they took Achan and they took the silver and the mantle and the bar of gold and they took Achan's family and they were all killed and the uh, the mantle that it's talking about was a beautiful robe and it was to be burned but the silver and the gold that Achan had taken and that he had stuffed underneath his tent he had buried him underneath his tent so nobody would find out those things were to be given to the Lord, to be put into the treasury of the Lord. So Achan and his whole family were killed. Now you may think, wow, that is really harsh of God. Listen, God is holy, and we are to treat him as, ho as holy. When he tells us to do something, we must obey. We should want to obey. And Achan didn't do that didn't obey. He coveted. He wanted these things, and so he took these things and he hid them. You know what? He thought that his sin was in secret and that no one would know. But listen, boys and girls, God always knows our sins. We cannot hide our sins from God. You may think that you're getting away with your sin, but God always knows us of our sins and turn away from our sins. So that was a hard lesson for Achan even uh, to, uh, to realize that God is holy and that he will judge sin and we should always treat God as holy. Okay, remember that. You cannot hide your sin from God. Okay, so your, your um, craft for today is we got a visitor in my Sunday school class once again. Uh, you have uh, the piece of paper that came in the mail and then the tent. So if you can tape or glue the tent down, that's what I want you to do first, okay? And then there should be a, 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 a cut or a, a slit in the tent where you can sort of make doors to the tent. And then a pole here. I thought I glued mine down, but you just tape, just tape the... The pole down here where it says um, the little flag where it says <laughs> Aiken's tent to uh, remind us who, who was the one who sinned against God. And then you have two pieces of silver that I want you to put down first because remember it said that the silver was underneath everything. So put the silver down and tape the silver and then the gold on top of the silver. Okay, so the gold is a piece of sticky thing so you can just undo the the backing to the to the gold piece there and stick it on top of the silver. And then the little shirt is supposed to represent the mantle that he stole as well. And, sorry, just stay away, okay. And it is just to be folded up and put inside or on top of the gold. You'll have to tape it as well. There. And then this little piece is supposed to represent the dirt that he covered up everything with. So take that and cover and put it on top of everything and just with one piece of tape on one side of the dirt, tape the dirt over everything because Achan, Achan thought that he had covered up everything. He thought that his sin was covered up, but God always sees our sin and he knows our sin and, and we should ask God to forgive us. All right, so 
uh, thank you for watching the lesson and Edmund thanks you for watching the lesson because he really wanted to be a part of it. I love you boys and girls and